are you watching this? I mean, seriously, why? I mean, most of my fans live in the US, which means it's Star Wars Day. You should be at a theater right now. I am probably at a theater right now. I mean, this was pre-recorded last weekend. But as long as you're here, we might as well do some Toy Assembler. And as long as it is Star Wars Day, let's pander. This is the LEGO Star Wars Micro Fighters X-Wing. Had to do something Star Wars today, and these little things are about the only Star Wars toys I have anymore. At 97 bricks total, it's a quick and fun little build. Nothing too complicated, of course, just a nice way of killing half an hour. The result is a very squashed down and rather cute little X-Wing that gets all its major details included. It's mostly done in white bricks with light and dark gray and a little bit of brick red to mix things up. In the rear, little pink studs give it the look of engines heating up in mid-flight, and an intentionally missing brick in the back gives it a little bit of inner detail to look more mechanical. One of the most obvious features is the astromech droid on top. A more dedicated fan might be able to match the paint job to an existing droid, but from here it just kind of looks like green R2. I like that they used a full dome rather than just a simple tiny representation. It also comes with your standard X-Wing pilot. Not Biggs or Wedge, not Luke, just a generic pilot. The kind that probably met his end on the wall of the Death Star Trench. The head has a fully painted face and visor with two appearances, the standard stern look and teeth gritting as if he's in the middle of a dogfight. Or it could be a pistol duel, he does come with a blaster for such occasions. Sitting him inside the X-Wing is kind of a novelty really. He looks like he's in a kid's ride, like this is supposed to rock back and forth while Star Wars music and sound effects play. It's the trademark look of this particular toy line, and it's kind of hilarious to see here. Though I do admit, if I ever saw an X-Wing ride like that, you wouldn't be able to get me out of it. I don't care how dumb I look. The best part of this set are the wings. First off, four, count them, four flick missiles, a record for the Micro Fighter toy line all posing as the X-Wing's long lasers. It's not a bad bit of playability, but better, the wings can open and close. At this size, that's completely unnecessary, making it that much better. The added features make this one of my favorites in the Micro Fighters line, and worth picking up if they're still cluttering a local shelf near you. There's also a third series of these coming out that does include a new X-Wing based on the new movie, just in case you happen to miss this release. Next up on Toy Simber, we go back to an old favorite. When we open tomorrow's present, back to the world of plastic padlocks. <laughs> 